What's up guys, Tim here. I was watching one of the Niels Fine, I think that's how you pronounce his last name, one of his latest videos. It was about two hours long, but one of the, he was practicing some drills with a, like a coach of his. And one of the drills that I've never done before is you can put the cue ball about right here, and you're trying to feather, feather the five, and then come back. And basically, you're, you're just playing safe. But you're trying to do that as many times as you can. So you're trying to very thinly, see how I touch the five, and left safe. So that counts as a safety. So you try to do that as many times as you can. I can't believe how thin I hit that one. Because you're trying to hit it very, very thin and not leave a shot. I would say that's a fail because I'm leaving. I'm leaving a shot. So anyway, it's probably easier if it's not frozen to the rail. And you can also bring it, bring it in a little bit to make it. The goal would be to try to do it as many times as you could without leaving a shot. Almost, almost good enough. And very thinly. Trying to hit it. See that's a thin. It's pretty hard. harder to hit, but you can have a slower speed shot. You can start it in the middle, which would make it trickier. Try to feather it. Feather it. Come back. So that's a good one. Come back in the middle and then do the other side of it. Feather it. Come back. See, it's too thick. Try to see how many in a row you can get. Obviously, the more is the better. I'd like to see, like to see how many y'all can get in a row. It's pretty tough. It's much easier. I guess it's much easier. Maybe I'm maybe I'm setting it up too hard. Maybe it needs to be more like this, and you're hitting across the back side of it. You're trying just to feather it, and you're trying to get back to this side of the ball. And then I'll bring it over here, you know, behind the head string. Feather it, try to get behind this side of the ball. So even though I hit that a little bit thick, I would say that's pretty good, even though I could probably make it sometimes so give it a try like I said I saw it on uh, the Neil's, Neil's Fine video it was about an hour and a half in and I don't think I've ever seen anybody really practice this with a drill so that would be a fail way too far out I sold out the shot no good but I think if you could do if you could do four or five of these in a row, it'd be pretty strong. You know, just try to lead. Take take kind of take your ball in hand on this ball. See, I would say that's probably not good enough. Once it comes out too much, it's too it's too much. But it's pretty good practice and this shot comes up. Shot comes up quite often. Too thick. Pretty decent lead though. Selling out for this side because the four is too far away from the rail. You know, a lot of us tend to get a little bit too focused on uh, on offense lately. I don't think I've played a defensive shot in six months. So this is probably be some good practice. 
some feel on the cue ball. And like I said, the goal would be to try to do this as many times as you can and keep him that other ball down there. In. This is, this is, I think this is just barely good enough. You know? So I guess you could say you could keep it in a zone or try to keep yourself ball in hand. Like this is pretty thin. But I'm using I'm using a, maybe a tip, tip of outside. That's pretty good. So I've got a tip of outside and I'm using a little high English because I want the cue ball to roll immediately. I don't want it to, I don't want it to you know, stun and then start to roll because it might go offline. Usually the quicker you can get the cue ball to start rolling, you're going to usually have a more accurate shot for most shots. Let's see, I think that's pretty good. Still caught, I could probably cut that in. Barely. But I'd say just keep, I think his drill is a little bit more difficult. Just try to keep it behind the head string, you know, wherever you think your optimal spot to thin it. So I'm aiming, I'm aiming to hit about a quarter of the ball, and then the English is bringing the cue ball over creating the thinness of the hit. And that's really what you need if you want to create a lot of separation between the two balls. Because if you hit this with just center, just center, no English, you just don't have much energy in this. That extra spin brings it all the way that much farther. It just makes it much easier to execute. So, it's definitely a little trickier to aim, but that's why that's why you have to practice it. See, it's able to really thin it, and that extra spin brings the cue ball this much farther. So, anyway, let me know what y'all think. You don't have any time, but you can do it in a row. Thanks for watching.